Hi, it's Rachel. I've been talking a lot about learning about divine love because as you learn about what true love is, loving kindness, you're learning and starting to see the true nature of God, of the Creator. And one thing that is deep in a lot of us, okay, that comes out of fear is judging others, okay? It is having a heart where you are, instead of loving someone, okay? So someone is doing something that you don't think is good, okay? So instead of loving that person, you judge them and in that judgment from your spirit that's what they feel so they feel rejection they feel condemnation and that does not heal that makes things worse and you can see this is true if you have walked in this in your relationships if you have a judging heart toward others even if you try to hide it it still affects your relationship Okay, and it will never fully heal. That is, so if someone is doing things that are hurtful and harmful from our heart, from our attitude toward them, it has to be to love them because it is that, and it is the love of God, it is a pure love, it is a kindness. It is loving them and treating them as we would want to be treated. We've all had issues in us, okay, that cause harm to other people and hurt other people. We've all been there. But yet, we look at others and we judge them for the harm and the hurt they cause. If that judgment and that judging is in your heart, love is not there. Okay? So it's a very different thing, okay, between saying, for example, look at it from a parent-child um, when God looks at us, okay, it is like a father to a child. When we're doing something wrong, he doesn't like that we're doing a wrong act, okay? So he will correct us. He will discipline us. That's what a good father does because that, what we're doing is harming us. Okay, so he's not coming at this judging spirit toward us. He doesn't like what we're doing, but toward us us he loves us if you have walked and sought after God Jesus said he is gentle and meek okay meekness means that you don't use force in a situation but you you but you're meek so you use love okay that's how love comes across it comes as a meekness so if you have walked with God and you have sought him and he has corrected you and disciplined you it, he comes to you in a very gentle way, in a meekness. And it is because that is love. And that, when he loves you through those things, that's what heals you. It's not coming at you and judging you and condemning you. So his judgments are always in love. Okay? And that's where sometimes, until we understand really the nature of God by knowing what divine love is, we attribute to him when it talks about judgment, the judgment of our beastly mind, which is full of cruelty. Okay, so that's where we get judging others, and it's cruel, it's a condemning, it's a rejecting, it's, you know, casting them away. Okay, that is not the love of God. All right, and that's not what his judgment looks like. His judgment is always in love. So it says, you know what, I, you're doing something that's harming you, but I'm going to instruct you and I'm going to teach you. I'm going to love you because the love is what you need. Because you're doing those wrong acts ultimately because of lies and fears and lusts. Okay, it comes down to that whole dynamic that is work within us, that controls us, that rules us, that governs us. And so he starts to free us 
by his love because his love is what dro- that we put replace the lust and his love dries out all that fear okay so you this judging mindset you see it everywhere okay but we're not we got to stop pointing fingers at other people and just look at ourselves if you look at your own life and start being an observer of your own thoughts and you realize that wow I'm being very judging I'm backbiting I'm saying slanderous things even in your mind okay we're talking about a full a real purification so even in your mind you don't want to be judging or condemning or backbiting or any of those things because that does not help the situation because what you really think that's what you actually are that's what you're really bringing into the situation not just your words so it's that spirit that is so important to understand how harmful that judging spirit is and that is a result of being self-righteous okay and self-righteous is thinking you know what's right in any one moment and then now you're gonna play judge in that because somehow you think you're righteous you know they're not and now you're um, judging so that self-righteous attitude is all also a part of that okay instead you realize you know what this person's causing harm I'm going to love them okay in truth in sincerity and God will lead you how to do that because every situation is different about how that looks and you're going to trust the righteousness of God of Christ to flow through you in perfect wisdom to know how to respond in that situation that's why we need to be so in tune to that internal teacher to have that spirit of truth and listening because that's what will guide us to know how to respond in those situations but it's always looking with eyes of light which are eyes full of a loving kindness toward everyone okay that was the commandment to love others even your enemies to bless those who persecute you it is love that heals that's why he is talking about those things it's not judgment now is a time for healing and as you also start not judging other people but start desiring to love them and how to do that in truth you also start to be experience more of the love because remember that judgment is tied to the fear and it's tied to self-righteousness so you also are being cleansed in your mind and the renewing of your mind as you learn to love others and not judge them